And they know that the whole rape allegation is fucking bullshit because you see their face and they're just like, come on, let's just go. And then, and then the woman just keeps fucking drawing it out. She's the one that's, it's that's so in charge. It's so fucking fake too. Like you can't. I could. I would. I'd be laughing at her. It's so ridiculous. Like if I, if I, I would have been so mad. You know, if I wasn't so mad. Want to watch it again? Not really. But if yeah. I, if I wouldn't have been so mad, I would have probably been laughing because she's so ridiculous. Like you, you think people are gonna bleed? I mean, for one, they look at you. Two. You really Why are you videotaping me right now? Me. Why are you hitting me, lady? No, you're touching me. Why are you hitting me, lady? Why did he ask? Why are you hitting me? Don't touch me. Don't touch me, lady. Shut the fuck up. Stop hitting me. 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 And then the guys are pulling her away from the dude who she's accusing of raping her. And, like... <laughs> help me up! Oh, 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 help me! Oh, my... Oh, oh. Lady, you're scaring me! Oh, I know! So what she say there? I know. She's trying to, she's trying to contort his words. Because he's like, Lady, you're scaring me. She's like, I know, you're scaring me. It's like, you know what I say? You know what my first reaction was after I saw this? Mm. I'd like to thank the Academy. <laughs> That's what I posted on Facebook. I wouldn't. She's a terrible fucking actor. Well. I get what you're saying. Yeah, I remember from Fight Club where he's like, I, oh. I love every stick of furniture. That was my life. I'd like to thank the Academy. <laughs> You're scaring me too, sir. Get away from me. Notice dude in the green hat. He sees like kind of like... <laughs> yeah, like... <laughs> old fucking bastard. And he's like threatening him. No. Get away from me. You're scaring me. Why did you come into my room like this? Kiss out the window. Why did you come into my room like this? Yeah, she's making these uns 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 uh, unsubstantiated claims. But, like, you see the box fans there in the fucking window? Yeah. How likely you think it is that he fucking pissed out the window? I mean, if this dude's smart enough to have his fucking video camera ready, you think he's dumb enough to fucking piss out the window? I mean, he could have, but it's, I, there's no evidence that he did. And this, that's what I'm saying, though. This is this is kind of pissing me off because I can't really... I don't know what's going on here. Like, I, I'm aware of what's going on, but it really is more... I wish I knew the official story. What was Like, what the fuck up? was going on? Yeah, like, why... The fuck would she go into his room with two other? Like, I wonder if they all went in at once. They did, cause he says, like, the, the, I open my door for you, and the three of you all break, you know, barge in here, man, man. What the fuck? Yeah, dude, I thought you were gonna fucking scream obscenities whenever you first saw this. No, you th it's like it's not like I'm not used to this. It's, yeah, maybe if I was some fucking white knight, never had heard about. Rape allegations, but no, no, no. What I mean is, is, no. I thought this video and how she's this. acting. You've been seeing them behave like this. Well, yes, that's true. But I just figured you'd be like, oh my fucking god, she had that nerve. Like I figured, like you'd be so pissed at her behavior. And I'm all pretty that. pissed, but I mean, it's not like it's anything fucking new. That's a sad thing. So you're not surprised that she no. was like that. No, I just don't understand why. Like what? Like what brought what it on? Did, basically, what incentive does she have? to get this guy in trouble. Like, what's it gonna get her? Because that's what she's doing. Obviously, it's gotta be something like, like, because as far as we know, he hasn't done anything wrong. Even if he did, what the fuck would you, why would you act like that? The other thing, and the other thing is, um, you know it's gotta be something that she, it's gotta be something shady because they're not, they're not gonna call the cops. They're not going to. Well, see, I was trying to think. Did he not pay his bill? Did he steal some silverware? Did he like like what would he do to provoke them to come up there? It's what, a bad okay, here's a better question. What could you do to have this fucking reaction? Like what even if he stole some fucking silverware, do you think that would happen? That's what and I'm if saying. If he paid his bill, do you think that would happen? That exactly. That wouldn't happen. Why should that even happen? If anything, they would knock on his door and she would have two manjanas and sure I need to pay your bill, man, man, man. But uh, And then even then, why would she be punching him? Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. There's no way that's... You can't explain it with something rational because you don't fucking react like that to something rational. Like, if you did something... A normal fucking per A business owner would not do this. Exactly. 
Before you know, I mean, this bitch looks like she's fucked up on something. Who knows? Fucked up on estrogen. Oh, you know, I was talking right. to Jason uh, Carroll about uh, Jason. Like uh, last time I came over here, we were talking about uh, e like estrogen and all that, and like you know, it's basically like this this carcinogen that causes mental illness, and <laughs> and and like estrogen, it's like created in women's bodies when they come in contact with bigonite. Bigonite. <laughs> laughing so hard. Here I was over there cutting like Nintendo cartridges over with the Dremel. Beep! You know? And like, I gotta be careful so I don't cut myself with a high speed rotary tool. And then he's laughing really hard about this and I'm trying not to laugh. I'm like, dude, dude shut up. It's not that funny. <laughs> I mean, because I was having a I was just sitting over here cutting stuff and then he's like, we having this conversation. Yeah, and like, big and I. Alright, let's you threaten me like this. Why did you come in here? So he presents it. So why did you do this? Why did you come in here and start State this shit? Case. And then and she, pa yeah, she's, he stated his case and she's, pa she's like, she, she can't refute it. So all she does is re resorts to emotionalism. <laughs> She's like, rape, rape, oh my god. And then she fucking sits on his bed and arms length from the fucking door that's wide open. Yeah, it's like, well, if you're really being raped, why would you stay there? I mean, she's, she's not in danger and she knows it. She's just sitting there and she knows she's not in danger. She, what she is, she's confident she's got control of the situation. And that's once again because of the estrogen uh, that causes mental illness. Um, big and I. <laughs> yeah, yeah, from Big and I. I mean, look at it. I mean, because of this, and this is documented video evidence. Now, the, the justice system should basically like reevaluate how they how they uh, no. interpret rape cases. Yeah, like, yeah, this is the first evidence. To, like, no. No, no, no. This is not the first evidence of a rape allegation. I'm just saying this is concrete fucking proof that a woman There's can and tons. will. There's tons of concrete proof. They don't give a shit. Well, I'm just saying, though, this this is what we can put out to anybody, the public. It's like, in light of this, how do you take rape allegations 100% seriously? I yeah. mean, this shows, this is absolutely documented proof that a woman can and therefore will make a false rape allegation. Oh, just like how men will rape someone because it's just a crime of opportunity. As soon as you get a chance to rape somebody, you're going to take it, right? I hate, I hate, oh, God. Because if you said, if you said what you said, like, you know, just a second ago, if you said that, it's going to be someone who's going to disagree with you. But there's, this will probably be the same type of person who's going to say that about men, you know. Like, you well, have, well, men are just well, that on. Where they're like, well, rape is a crime of opportunity. Uh, that was Kara Cochran, and that was on her uh, article, like the UK Guardian or whatever. is one of the British uh, online newspaper sites. And uh, one of the more reputable ones. And and where she's, she says, are all men rapists after all? Rape is a crime of opportunity. Men will just take their chances. Man. Please get out of my room. Don't help me. He wants to rape me. I would promise I won't swear on you anymore. I'll do anything you want. Look at that. Please call the cops and get out of my room. Look at that right there. She grabs the dude's arm. She's like, she's. You can tell she's fucking pissed because it, because nobody's it believing work. it. Yeah, yeah, because it didn't work. He's like, no, it's not me. You see, she's fucking gritting her teeth like, no, it's not me. It's not that nobody li believes her, because obviously these two guys, they don't give a shit. Like, well, they're not doing anything. They're not pounding well, that dude's face in. Yeah, because they know they're probably in on. Like they probably never. Well, they know it's bullshit. They know it's bullshit, but they don't. They don't think it's wrong either. Like that's their buddy, obviously. So they're just there to, you know, be the muscle. My room. 
Please call the cops and get out of my room. Oh, no! I was trying to get out of your room. You won't let me. Yeah, that's why you were grabbing for the kids. Call the cops. Hey, call the cops. Maybe, maybe. I wonder if he did something like that. Because he's saying call the cops as if, like, obviously they're not going to call the cops about themselves. Like, hurry, we want to beat the shit out of this guy. So maybe they tried to, like, say that he did something and he knows he didn't do it. And it's something to do with, like, maybe the, the fucking bed and breakfast. The whole situation. And call the cops. Call, call the cops, yeah. yeah. But, like, um, or maybe he is in trouble for something small and they blew it out of proportion. And he's saying, yeah, call the cops. You know, I'll, you know, I'll, it's worth. You know, I think whatever. he's one of the cops called to fucking get this shit. Well, I know, I know that, but he's saying like, like, implying like they're gonna call the cops anyway, so go, go call them, you know. But why do they want? I think he's to. calling their bluff. I think that's what. Well, he's yeah, saying. that too. And the dude in the green hat just a minute ago, he was checking his cell phone. Like, it looked like he's checking the time and all that. And then watch what this bitch says. Get the cops here. Yeah. Have a phone. You call. You have a phone right in your hand. The dude yeah, whose hand she's holding, he's holding has a fucking yeah. phone in his hand. Yeah, he does. And she owns a fucking business. Are you telling me there's not a goddamn phone, like, right downstairs? Or wherever the fucking... She owns a fucking business. And, that's, me and this is happening in, in her business, you know? God damn. You Your boyfriend has a phone. Your boyfriend has a phone right there. Call the cops. You want me? Please oh, call you the cops. Watch it. Yeah. Oh. Fucking crack it out, Pierce. I hate you for doing yeah. this. Now look what I see here. Because she won't shut up. These guys are fucking fed up with this shit. And so they, they're like, they, they're like, I wish she'd just shut up. That's what's going on in their heads. And then you're like, what did you fucking do? What the fuck are you doing up there? I mean, it's because you see they're walking down there and they're like, let's just go, and all that. And then um, they're like, you know, you see their their behavior suggests that they're thinking, let's just go. But then she just fu fucking pours on the emotion so fucking hardcore. And then basically Barbarossa and Stardust would know what this is, and uh, and like. Now, Stardust made a video about this, and he, he was talking about uh, Crystal Mangum, that, that, uh, the Duke Lacrosse. What's the video called? I think I might have watched it. Oh, I forget, but uh, it was pretty good. And it was, he made it like the day after this came out. Barbarossa hadn't done a video on this yet. Stardust did one fairly quick, within a week. Um, but this is, I think we should be talking, I think people should be talking about this for for weeks and months to come, at least till the end of this year, 2012. And but see, Barbarossa and them would know what's going on. Yeah. That that she is implementing control. She, you know, because they're not. She knows what she she knows the extent of what she can get away with, so she's gonna try it. Well, not not what she can get away with, but she knows that these two fucking muscleheads, whatever. I don't know. Who knows how they're even involved. That one almost just acts like he's her boyfriend and, or something like that. Yeah, and the one dude suggests, you know, the boyfriend, the one in the green yeah. hat. Yeah, and uh, she knows that, you know, these two fucking dipshits are going to let her, you know, enable her to do whatever she wants to. <laughs> and then she knows that, well, she I, I obviously didn't think that this guy would have a camera because she knows that... No, I think if, he surprised everybody with that. Well, I know, but I'm saying, like, she knows that if he didn't have a camera, she knows that she can basically... Well, I'm going to show you right with man. Yeah, the camera's the only thing that saved his ass. The camera's the great equalizer, I guess. Cause I gotta start a new video. It fucking saved his shit. Alright, pause.